Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. You know, I was thinking of all the big events that have happened, you know, just in our life this last year, and we really couldn't celebrate any of them. And it got me thinking, you know, since we can't throw a big New Year's party, no Super Bowl party, no graduation parties or retirement parties or big milestone birthday parties, no baby showers, none of that. We can't celebrate any of those big things the way we want to or used to. But, you know, we can celebrate Wednesday. You know, if you haven't had breakfast yet, make a stack of pancakes and put a candle on it. Psalm 118 reminds us, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Man, but you know, what if you lost your sparkle? There, there seems to be no joy. Can that be restored? Every day is a precious gift from the Lord. And we may not be able to celebrate the big events like we want, but we can celebrate the biggest thing. Our God is alive. He's still on the throne and he loves us desperately and we matter to him. We could celebrate that every day. You know, if you're a believer, we should have an ever-increasing delight in Christ, his beauty and his greatness. It should just thrill our souls. You know, but what if? You know, now I realize there are some people whose personalities are more circumspect and they just naturally seem sad. But even they can have Christian joy in the Lord. But for the rest of us, if we're feeling sad, maybe we need to do a heart check and see what the problem is. You know, why am I sad? We could pray like David in Psalm 51, restore to me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. You know, sin was a big issue in David's life when he wrote that, and that kind of wrecked his joy. But there are other reasons too. You know, maybe you have a, you know, like a, Brett and Kevin have a new baby in the house and they're sleep deprived and exhausted. Well, that makes it hard to be joyful, even with a cute little baby. Uh, maybe there's a medical problem. You never want to rule that out. But maybe, just maybe, we need to get our eyes off our own belly button and back on Jesus. Christians should never be people who walk around looking like they've been sucking on a bunch of lemons. We need to get out of ourselves. And if our hearts stop singing like the old canaries in the coal mine, we need to check our life. <laughs> no joy is like a warning light on your car. <laughs> Every morning I ask Cheryl what she's going to do today. This become kind of a joke because it's the same thing we've done every day for months. <laughs> the other day, you know, I was feeling kind of lonely and a little bored and sorry for myself. So, you know, I made a few phone calls. Oh, man, it was so nice to hear people's voice and the day just flew by. So if you lost your sparkle, serving others is a good way to get it back. You know, Jesus in, in, God, in John's gospel, he said, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. And remember now, his commandments were not burdensome. They were to love God and love your neighbor. Then he went on to say in that same passage, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. Now, loving others is a good way to recapture our joy. The joy we have in Christ cannot be put out by the circumstances of this life. You know, I shared with you guys before how that song by Hawk Nelson was like my theme song when we were going through one of the toughest times in, in our life. That hook from that song was like on a continual loop in my head. Oh, the joy of the Lord, it will be my strength when the pressure is on. He's making diamonds uh, over and over. Guys, some of the most miserable Christians that I've seen are ones who have taken their eyes off Jesus and they're trying to live in both worlds. Uh, they're still trying to find happiness and security in this world in, instead of in Jesus. You know, poor James wrote, uh, don't be deceived, my brothers and sisters. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. Every good gift is from God, you guys. In fact, God alone is good. That's why he is a source of everything good in this world. Don't buy into the lie that we can find something good and satisfying apart from him. That's being a half-hearted, double-minded man. And we can never find uh, the joy in the Lord like that. You know, when you get up from the, the Thanksgiving feast, oh, there's no way we could be tempted with another bite, is there? It's the same way. And it's hard for Satan to tempt us with empty pleasures of this world when we're full of Jesus. Make it a point to be satisfied in him and enjoy the day. Celebrate Wednesday because this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. 
Love you guys. Have a great day.